There it is. Yeah, we're live. All right. <laughs> Hello, everyone. This is Haley Bricks. And who's your Bricks? Hi, everybody. And you are with Fun with Train or Fun with Lego Trains. Either one. Um, tonight's episode, we're going to be talking a lot about the passenger train, the new one with the new power functions. Uh, this guy. Yeah. Um, I, I, I picked it up for this weekend and put it together and have it sitting out in the city. So I'll take, I'll take my phone out there and we'll see, see what all we can do. Um, I know last week we hit, we had a lot of people we had a pretty good conversations about power functions 2.0 and what it could do and what it you know can't do and we had a few people kind of play with it during the week and whatnot so uh, hopefully those those people jump back in here so we can talk about it <laughs> don't know where everyone is tonight. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Dude, Jude's in the chat. Fix in the chat. I thought he was playing Red Dead. Fix in the chat. Oh boy. Hi, Fix. <laughs> we uh, Kittenville, Johnny G. No, he's playing Red Dead tomorrow. VR is playing Red Dead right now. Oh, ah, is that what it is? Yes. <laughs> Which apparently he, I think, Fix got it on PlayStation. PlayStation 4. Now we can all team up for the online part later on. I have PS4. Yeah, you're <laughs> supposed to be able to like join, do the multiplayer online and be part of kind of like GTA. You're, you're running around in the open world. <laughs> he said Red Dead installing takes forever. <laughs> it took about three hours for me because it's the two disc. Half of it's on one and half of the other. All right, well, Fick, while you're waiting on it to install, just go downstairs and start playing with Lego trains. Yeah, Fick, go downstairs, start playing with your, do that, and then join. You can join us. <laughs> got collecting bricks in the chat. Hi, hi. I know I don't have my, my train conductor. Where is he? He had all the nice sound effects. There he is. Uh, I don't know where. Everyone's just... Um, oh, we did have a conversation about the lights, the power functions lights, and I flipped to the very back of the last page on the instructions, and it actually had a, focus, uh, the light kit you can buy at Lego Shop at Home. But it's actually the new Power Functions light kit. But I had to go and type in the number and look it up because I couldn't find it under the Power Functions. Like when you go to shop at home and you, you can look under Power Functions, it's not listed there. I had to actually type the number in. So, because some of the new, new features of the... They were, were we talking about that last week too, or was that off? Off. Uh, yeah, I think, I think we was. We were hoping for like a new converter, because how the Emerald Knight has the XL motor, but there's no XL motor currently for the new power function, so be able to for people who want to switch over their. The old ones to the new ones. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to stick to my guns and say it might not be Lego, but somebody will produce some kind of converter. Yeah. Oh, the light kit just includes the light kit. It's literally... it. It's, it's all that for like 10 bucks. There we go. Yeah, what, what's the like the the old light kit? What's it? Six ninety nine? Is that what that is, or is it nine ninety nine also? I think that one's ten bucks too. 
But yeah, but they that because Buttshop took the the boost light out of the robot and stuck it in the train, which fits perfectly in the nose of the train. And then we started talking about the possibilities of well, the the boost the robot comes with a sensor where it would be cool to see if see how this Bluetooth plays out because if you're able to set up the sensor to know when to stop the train before it hits another train and have it, you know, multiple trains on the track and stuff. Interesting possibilities. Is everyone just sleeping tonight, man? Uh, but is there anything is there anything going on tonight? Yeah. Is it monster truck weekend or <laughs> did the zombie apocalypse hit the Midwest West Midwest people? They all can't be watching The Walking Dead right now. Yeah, and there's I don't think they're they're watching the cowboys either. Cowboys suck. Um, <laughs> um, any team that's playing against the Cowboys, I'll root for the other team. <laughs> nope. Okay. Ah. All right. Um. I don't know. Does anyone in the chat have train questions before I go and go into the next room and? Run, run a couple, run the train and see. I'm curious to see how many carts it can pull. Hi, do Jude. Yeah, because I know this week we're going to talk, talk about the passenger train. Which building it, it was very, very similar to the new Harry Potter train. Um, I do like the new, the front section that was built with the panels. We want to see. All right. It gets it gets a little loud over here sometimes. I apologize. <laughs> oh, no worries. I'm just waiting for Sean to walk sleepily around the corner in his boxers. So I'm, I know I have the camera pointing down at the bricks because I never know what he's going to do in the background. Collecting Bricks says, did Hoosier modify the train that you are going to show us? I don't even own that train yet. But when, when I do, it's getting modified. Well, it's getting extended. I should say that. Mm -hmm. You were sitting here talking, talking about the train, and yeah. uh, we're giving giving Butt Chop some time. See if he wants to jump, if he's able to jump in here. That's what I got for you. Hey, we're waiting, right? waiting a couple minutes. Just remember that, right? Yeah, because uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't own any of none of the new trains yet. Uh, it's not a thing that I had to be in a hurry to. To go out and get. I first was in a hurry, and then I found out that I'm getting a Lego store, and I'm like, well, I'm going to wait for the Lego store. So, and it opens Friday, so that might be my first purchase. <laughs> I know Brick Buffet. It it takes it only takes one train to get people hooked, and once you get one, it's one you have to get more. <laughs> see what's else <laughs> i stream i need to take off my cowboys yes you would have to take it off unless it's freezing cold there then keep it on we don't want you getting cold. we would we not want you to get sick so. um, i know one one of these episodes we're going to talk about lights with trains and train lights because 
the little crossing guard that came with the set. I have a, I have a light kit. I'm going to test out and install. That should be that should be a nice episode. Talk about lights. <laughs> Collecting bricks said Hoosier is going to get the free Harry Potter. Harry Potter micro Diagon Alley because we all know he's a big fan. Yes, go on, Hoosier. Get it. Get it. It's right there. Well, unfortunately, if I buy the trains Friday, I will probably have that. <laughs> oh. Uh, yeah, Johnny G. Uh, the first train that I bought was the white passenger train. And since then, I have bought four more of the white passenger train and 11 other trains. Hmm. So. I, still can't get, I still can't get past the nose piece on that the white passenger train. What, what killed me on the white passenger train was one passenger car. How do you call it a passenger train with one passenger car? <laughs> it, like I, I did use the nose piece for Jurassic World because I made the monorail <coughs> train, and it was it was much better slick. Nice design on that one. Yeah, I. From what I've seen, the one that you got, so far, I like that the best out of all the passenger trains. It, the new one, I like the nose piece. The only brick-built passenger train that I have is the red one. Right? Yeah, I don't have the, I don't have the Horizon. That's all brick built, right? There's no big gigantic molds in it. No, I think the most expensive piece in that one to piece together, I think it's the um, the plate because it's orange. It only came in one set. That's what's been. It's kind of like that. Was it B S N F or B N S F? B N yeah. Yeah, that, that one where the most a lot of expensive pieces from that set are those dark green like the white bricks are unique to to that one. All right, sit your butt down. Sit. And that's it's like the uh, the Santa Fe where it's it's done in old gray. The just a curved what are they curved two by three. On the top, there's 12 of them. There's 16 all together in the set. There's 12 on the top and four on underneath the, uh, the train base. They're $4 a piece on BrickLink. Get down. Get down. Sit there. You have your own chair. You do. So that, uh, you go brick building them. It's sometimes it's not worth it. it work out the extra money and get you a sealed one or get you a a uh, a used one that's in good shape. I mean the the horizon. That's when that when that train was first out. I didn't like it. I didn't like the color scheme. I just I passed on it. Till about a month ago when I saw it in person. And then I started looking into piecing that one together. And it was going to cost three times as much to piece it together than it is to buy it used. Yeah, I think that's that's the next one on the list for me is the uh, the Horizon. And that one actually has lights, lights in it too. So as soon as I get the, the lights for this train, 
for the new one. I want to take the guts out of that one and stick it in the horizon and see how it does. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Always get start messing with trains, man. It's it's never ending. The possibilities are endless. So I'm gonna guess Bubba Bubba's probably working tonight. So he'll he'll end up catching the replay. Unless he's listening and not and can't uh, Hush. can't play in the chat. Oh, blah, 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 blah. I look to be hearing from Butt Chop any minute. I think he said it only takes him fifteen minutes to get home. I figure. Well, he said 12, so I figure we'd give him to 820 top end. So I figure we can fill up the time, talk about other trains before we go go play in the city. Ooh, we get to go on a field trip. It's exciting. Hmm. Oh. oh, what else can I talk about the passenger train? Oh, you can even, I know even Buttshot was able to get two and put them together, and it's still kind of that nice completed, completed look. Who are you talking? Nerdbrick101 says, could your boy join the stream is he talking about him or somebody else <laughs> I'm, I'm good with anybody at this point collecting brick says haley does your city have a name uh yes um let's see i was originally going to call it um instead of hill valley brick brick valley I think Avon Man called his city that, so I switched it to Moff Moff City. Uh, I like Back to the Future too too much, so I think I'm gonna go back to the other one and call. I'll just have two cities, two cities with two different names. Yeah, because you could have Hill Hill Valley, and then a neighboring town or a neighboring. Yes, yeah, that's, that's my plan since I'm making Hill Valley. Might as well. Now, on, on the new passenger train, the only parts that would be hard to find is obvious, the, the orange nose piece, right? I don't think so. The, um... Let's look it up. We're going to talk about... I know that's going to be one episode where we talk about the Horizon train. Now, is that the same color orange that's in the Horizon? Yeah, it's just a plain, plain orange. Trains, 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 trains. Trains, 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 trains. There we go. Wrong one. Hello. Hello. What's going on, Nerd Brick? Nothing much. What's going on with you guys? Besides talking about trains. Same old, same old. Oh, trains all day, man. So I, mean, I, Woo. I, I guess the Good thing, if that nose piece is hard to get, if you're modifying it, at least you only got to get one. True. On the horizon? No, on the uh, on the new passenger train. I haven't I haven't looked on Bricklink to see if anybody's parted any of them out yet. 
forgot to turn that down. <laughs> Demonetized. <laughs> We're not monetized around here. What is that nonsense? <laughs> All right, passenger train. Let's look that one up. Oh, no. I think someone parked my parking out. Nope. Nope. They're all sealed sets. I really want the Lone Ranger train. I really want that one. Yeah. For Western train? I, I... Yeah. I have... There we go. There's only like two. And I only picked up two sets from that Lone Ranger, and I was that was one of them. Oh, well, you gotta pick a spot. Pick a spot. They do. They do. Here you go. Come on now. You're too big. You gotta lay down. <laughs> All righty. Is that a pit bull? Yeah, this one is a pit terrier mix. Oh. The other, the other one's an American bulldog. I uh, need to do trains. I don't have any. <laughs> uh, actually, Johnny G, I do have the Back to the Future train. See if I can get to it without. All right, let's see if I can pull it out. Easy. So. There we go. All right. I see this train, Johnny. Amazing. Yeah. Still need to fix fix a few things on it, but it still looks great. It's still it's still nice and pretty. Yeah, because I want to remove the blue pin and change out the bottom bottom here so it's all black. Oh. But no, all the the doors open. Currently holding the the XL motor. No, yeah, this one will, this one will be in Philly. I wish I could go, honestly. Oh, road trip. I'm stuck in Missouri, so I can't go far. Yeah. Okay. I think I ran ran this at one show. I can't remember which show I ran it at. Bear with me, Haley. I'm trying to figure something out. Hey, hey, no, no worries. All right, let's see. So you're going to be like, um, no. No, no. no. That's right now. Oh, all right. Uh, any, any other questions in the chat? <clears throat> oh. 
I was definitely going to say a bad word right there. <laughs> I didn't know if I was allowed to. In most streams, I'm not. Yeah, yeah we're, we're keeping this one all, all ages friendly. All right, three minutes, then I'm going a, I'm to a take everyone on a field trip. Ooh, field trip. Closest thing I have to train right there. Not even done yet. Oh, wow. What are you working on? A tank. A Stug 3. Hmm. Makes me think of the tank for Minnie and Jones. Oh, um, no, definitely wrong tank, but okay. <laughs> I know it's wrong tank, but... Uh... I think it's a Panzer three that was in it, or is a really big land ship. No clue. Depending on which Indiana Jones. All I know is that it went, I think, maybe 12, 12 miles an hour, and they had to reshoot that scene many times. <laughs> okay, what is my favorite train and why? Hmm. All right, I think this week is the Emerald Knight is probably still still a front runner for a favorite train. Because that, that train, that's one of the trains that got me back into Lego and collecting trains. I, I would have to say mine toss-up, Emerald Knight or Maris Train. Oh, that's a good one, too. But that... Yeah. If if one's ahead of the other, it's not ahead by very much. <laughs> well, that Maersk train, the only problem I have with it now is that I want to add like a couple more carts to it. But that that Maersk blue color, it... Yeah. 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 I know what you mean there. Who has a RC Lego train? I think Charlie does. What? What's the question? The R RC Lego train. I believe he's talking about the ones that came out before Power Function. The nine volt, or like the one I was messing with last night. Uh, it might be the one you're messing. You were messing with last night. The one that had the black, black and yellow controller. I think. Yeah, I, I'm not too happy with that one. Because that that green cargo train, that's like a solid piece underneath, right? Yeah. The battery box with built in. Yep. Yeah, I got that out last night. I was messing with it. I mean, it, it works, but the, the IR or whatever it is doesn't work as well as the power functions that we're all used to. Yeah. Like I was holding the controller literally five inches from it, and I wouldn't even stop it. So... Well, that one's kind of set up like a TV TV remote, right? Yeah. But isn't like the the sensor like super tiny on it? Yeah, the sense it's got sensors on both sides of the train engine, but it is very very small. So if I run it, and I want. Going to have to stop it. I'm going to have to walk beside it because there's no picking it up from the front or picking it up from the back <clears throat> because the sensor don't uh, don't pick up very well. 
I wonder if you can just kind of take that one and just remodel it. Keep the same color scheme, but just model it after the new cargo train. Well, I was looking at it last night. If I can, somebody, somebody said it. it. You know, can I think it was Butt Chop asked if you can rebuild it to hold the newer power functions. All you would have to do is get rid of the uh, the base that has the the battery box and stuff built into it and just replace it with a plain black base. Yeah. And but you would have to build <clears throat> you know, build for the middle section. Which that wouldn't be no problem at all. Just do I want to go go through and change it or if that'll just sit in the train yard on display, but There he is. I got one train running on one track. Once I start it, I'm not going to have to stop it. Yeah. So. Well, you could always have it in the workshop or have it off to the side where it doesn't run. Hmm. Oh, that's not. He must really be in the doghouse. No, for my shop. All right. It's eight. It's 8.33. Let me see if I can walk in the other room, get the lights turned on. We'll run. We'll play with some trains out there. So hopefully this works. All right. Darth Hall says trains, trains, trains. Trains, trains, trains. All right. I'm going to mute this one and walk in the other room. So you all have asked us what our favorite trains are. People in the chat, what's yours? Yeah. Cause I don't know what to say. I don't own any trains yet. <laughs> Most likely, I'm getting the Hogwarts Express, and then there's my tank. I'm, why? Okay. I meant train. Sorry. <coughs> yeah, that was the last one I bought. It's a cool train. I like the newer version more than the old version, but that's me. Yeah, I want to. <clears throat> I want to put the the new power functions in the Hogwarts, so you don't so you don't see all the wires. Yeah, I've seen a lot of people do it. Let's see here. Johnny G says Santa Fe. Darth Hall says he likes the Lone Ranger train. Like I seen uh, Hope do it his. Yeah, because I, I put power functions in mine, but it's the older power functions, so you can see the wires running from the tender to the engine. It's okay if you're not picky. Alrighty. Brick Pasta says I'm still trying to decide if I like trains. They do seem fun. Alrighty. Turn that on. Turn this on. Green light. Green light. That's the new weird color system you can I don't know so I was talking about the this whole train is a very simple build like you can easily remodel it after whatever color except you probably have to keep the if you want to use this nose piece you would have, have to keep it that mustard yellow color but It built pretty pretty solid. Right. Rick Pasta says, I'm afraid I'm afraid they will drain my wallet. Oh, there's no need to be afraid. Once you start buying them, they will. Trains. 
Chris, don't afraid. Just be ready. All right, let me. I need, you know, we need to make a a train car that you can have. Hold on. Does this work still? Yeah. Okay. It went, it went full screen. All right. Um, I need to make a train car so I can put my phone on it and be able to run the train. <laughs> All right. So, button. One, two. Oh, you have a really big layout. Oh, yeah. It, this city goes back there. It goes around here. Yeah, I have my closet to work in, and that's about it. <laughs> no, um, I know. Then another table goes here, but Jurassic World is on top of this table. So. Ta-da, my working space. All right. Let's see if I can hook up the horizon. See how many, see how many carts this thing can pull. I, I say it should pull seven or eight with ease. Well, I was kind of I was playing with it earlier to kind of see... Well, one, I was making sure it was going to go flying off the tracks when I ran it. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's go. Two. That's three power. Four. Five. That's half half of the speed it can go. So it's pulling it at a pretty good speed. All right, there's six. Seven. Eight. Oh, that's scary. No bow. Okay, that was scary going around that one corner. <laughs> it's a far corner. I thought the uh, thought the dog was trying to jump up and grab it again. Yeah, he <laughs> he he took out the horizon last week. He he's okay if he's okay with stuff if it's not moving. But vacuum cleaners, he's killed three of them. Anything that moves, he'll he'll take it out. All right, y'all want to see the train? Where I keep all my trains? I keep all the trains in here. All the engines lay will lay flat. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. They'll lay flat, and then the rest are all track. That's all curved track. Oh, here's some carts. Let's get those. I want to see how many you can pull. Oh, all right, sit there. Brick Buffet says nice collection. I'm jealous. All right, well, we need a red caboose, right? There we go. Let's pull that one out. Oh, there we go. Um, well, let's do a helicopter. Now, when you was running it with the uh, the other cars on it, the ones that you had on it now, could you hear the wheels spinning to gain traction, or? Let's see.
No, they were. They weren't spinning. And plus, it's brand a brand new. There's O ring sitting on it. That's not, not spinning is a good thing. Yeah. All right. Because I know that the Mare's train, Mare's, um, that one, because the engine is so heavy, uh, I, mean, I noticed with mine, it was, that one has issues pulling more than so many carts. All right, one more cart. Brick Buffet says my holiday train will spin the wheels. I think with the holiday train, it's there's not enough weight. Right, take a few of these things off, just in case I lose them around the corner. Okay. <laughs> All right. I added I added a few more carts behind it. Just for fun. So it it stretches. All right. One, two, three, there we go. Four, six, seven. All right, so it's on eight. Yeah, you can you can tell the difference. Yep. Now it's spinning. Okay. Oops. Johnny G says, who's your run second engine and rear if you run lots of cars? And that's one thing we was talking about uh Last week, I know uh, with the old power functions, Dunkster Bricks put a video out on how to go into the train motor inside of it and turn things around where you could run, you know, two RC motors at the same time. And, and but Top's not here to explain what he found out. I guess we'll go ahead and do it. <laughs> Hopefully he don't get too mad. <laughs> but uh, <clears throat> since last week, Butt Chop went out and bought a second one of the passenger train. And started playing with it, and we figured out that if you sync the twin motors up to the same frequency with the new Bluetooth, that both of them come on simultaneously. So you don't have to worry about one powering up and not the other. So it's going with the new power functions. It's basically like the old if you like the nine volt, if you have a long thing, you can have an engine, an engine pushing and an engine pulling. And with the new Bluetooth, they're both on. I mean, yeah, at least with the Bluetooth, you can just hit one button and not have to worry about make sure they're both at the right speed and. And worry about all the extra, uh, all the extra stuff, all the extra wires. That's one thing I like about this because I can I'm kind of curious to see how far the range is. Yeah, I'm gonna oh see how far I can. Yeah, Maniac for Bricks has joined us. Brickbender Underworld. What's going on, guys? I'm in the kitchen, and I can get it to stop. 
Yep, stopped right on the screen. Yep. Yeah, so it looks like the range the range is pretty good. Stop behind a building. Yep, stop behind a building. There it goes. <laughs> Um, my opinion is the new power functions are it's going to work out pretty well. Oh, yeah. Sometimes we start getting more uh, see more of the Bluetooth capability, especially with being able to convert some of the older trains to it. Uh, Brickbender Underworld says, is that the same motor from the Batmobile? It's the same battery. <coughs> it's the same battery, but the train motor is completely different. So I think the the Batmobile has like a small, is, it, is a medium motor. So I, I looked into that one. And the app actually runs really nice. It was easy to connect, and once I got it connected, did just fine. And plus, you get to hit all the extra buttons to make the train whistle or make it sound like it's going through a cross, crossing guard. And the the only thing I don't like about it right now is to get the battery, the controller, and the battery to turn off. You're supposed to hold it down for five seconds. But I don't know if I'm counting right or it's too too much. But um, it it took me a couple of minutes to get it to to officially turn off. That's that's the only thing I don't like currently about it. But uh, there's still still plenty of things to play with it. And I'm looking forward to getting the light, getting the little light kit for it. <laughs> Johnny G. So, damn it. I need two of them passenger trains now. I mean, even, even two of them, it, it would look, it would look perfectly fine. Yeah, because Butchop was pulling his two around uh, last, last night, I think. Yeah, he had one one pushing and one pulling. Or... No, he just had... Uh, or had them both pushing. Yeah, he just had one motor last night on his because he has the other power up in the Hogwarts. Oh, yeah, yeah. So he was pulling five cars. That's not bad. Yeah, I'm, I did notice it looks looks like it takes one Little. speed, one speed per, one extra speed per how many cars you have. Because when I was pulling all six cars, I had it on speed six, and it was doing okay. And I cranked it up to seven, and it was doing better. So, and those Horizon ones actually weigh a little bit more than the passenger one. Yeah, when, when more of us get them, or if LEGO ever makes it available to buy the new power functions, I'll, when I get mine, I'll demonstrate, I'll see how many cars <laughs> get around pushing and pulling. Yeah, I'll you have yeah, I'll hook every train train car I got and see if it'll push and pull it. So. Yeah, but it, it's it's running now, all night. Bo 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 the dog really wants to to take it <laughs> down though. He has his nose up to the table. He's like, please let please let me get it. Please? He's like, Ooh, I got an orange one the other night. He said, this one's got an orange in it, too. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
Yeah, he, I know the first first time I ever ran the trains in here, he literally reached up and grabbed, took his whole mouth and grabbed it and pulled it off the. He pulled. Oh, I want to say this. I think it was a blue cargo train. He did that one. That's the train I want to put the new power functions in. I, I like the blue cargo train too. Yeah, I made, I made a couple different color schemes to that one. Because I did like an all black version. I have a green and black and I'm hoping to do a yellow one. Alrighty. So, let's see. Alright, you have to hold this, so... One, two, three, four, five. Yep. One, two. Nope. Nope. All right. Come on now. Have you have you ran it through the app on the phone? Yes. What? Uh, see if I can. But now, what else? Can you turn? Can you power it off that way through the app? Mm -hmm. Easier than what you can from the controller. Go off. Oh, okay. I got the train to turn off. Nope. No, there's not really like an off button for the for the app. It's just I I, I finally I got it to turn off until it started blinking like crazy and turned white, then it turned off. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah. But no, even the. All right, let me let me switch to the computer. I'll take this inside and show you turn all stuff to it. All right, switching. What's going on, Iceberg? Oh man, Friday can't get here fast enough. I need that train. <laughs> if I bring myself to pull the trigger. Okay. And he is back. All right, let's see if I can get the camera all nice and set up. Haley, since you're back at the computer, yes, I'm going to step away and try something out and come back. If it don't let me back, you have to send me another invite. <laughs> Okie okay, dokie. Okay. I'll be back in just a few minutes. Okay. Ah, let's see if I can move everything. Trains, trains, trains. Let's see. Stepping up the camera. I hope everyone's having a good Sunday. Sunday evening. Road trip. Trains, trains, trains. All about those trains. Yeah. 
I can adjust the camera a little bit. There you go. I don't see the drink. Oh, there we go. All right. So good. So how the see how you, you can actually stick the lights right inside the nose piece. It's a pretty pretty nice nose section. I like this this shape a lot more than the High speed passenger train, and then Butt Shop was able to take the the boost light sensor and place it in the front, and he removed this section, put the sensor right here, and was able to have the light shine through. And there's enough room to run all the way back to the battery box, which is. All right, I get to pop off all the tiles. Come on now. There we go. So the battery, the little panels, very simple for the battery box. And like I said, there's enough room to run through the cords. And without that IR sensor, there's actually a lot of extra room. There's a lot of extra room here. So it just... Ah, come on now. There we go. Nice and sits down, and then this piece literally just sits right here. You can press, press down the battery. All right. Now it's. Yeah. Everything else is pretty. I kind of wish it didn't have that yellow, like, what do you call these pieces? I kind of wish they had a black one to blend in a little bit better. Other, other than that, of course, you don't really, you don't really notice it. But I'm, I know it's there. <laughs> um... Hey, Maniac for Bricks is there. Hello. Hi, Iceberg. Up, oh, Hoosier's back. <clears throat> Even the, the passenger car is pretty. There's actually a lot of room. Or pigs to walk to sit in it. Which, unlike the Harry Potter one, there's not a lot. Of, there's not a lot of room. This one has like a little eaty eatery section. And of course, this one is exact same built. And you can put all the figs in there. And it comes with that dark gray train base plate. So you could easily, if you didn't want to get another tra another train and you didn't want the other, another nose piece, that you could easily, easily rebuild this from, from scratch. I think the only, The only thing you might have to order is are these roof pieces. 
because I don't believe this comes in more than it's kind of bright yellow, bright orange. I have not looked look those pieces up on Bricklink, but yeah, but everything else is very basic, easy, easy to find pieces. Last but not least, here's the little train station, like little train stop we came with. Oh. It, has, it has a nice sticker, sticker sheets. So I personally like these little coffee, coffee mug ones. There, everything else, everything else is good. I like that the departure time is 12.01, which all the other time tiles are that 12 12.01 or 10.21 yeah and all the all the sick pigs is another Bratista girl so there we go I figured out the lower third <laughs> oh oh sorry all right last last but not least you get the the new rolling suitcases that what friends introduce this piece to and you can actually put you can put a lego set in it yeah so you're okay if the suitcase is out in front of the minifig but you can't get a little a little too tall for the side <laughs> once you do that leave that Okay, there's my little mini train review. All right, who's your back? Hey, look at that. Yeah, I finally got my lower thirds to work. I had to switch browsers. Oh, I like the Merch, the Merch train. That's perfect. Oh, the train conductor. Man, I'm missing things left and right today. <laughs> No, oh, he's he's pretty standard train conductor. I want to say his little his other pockets kind of new. There we go. No, no, no. I know this is this is a very very nice train Lego train set. Um, I'm sold on it. Yeah, I can't wait to get it. All right. Well, it's been one hour almost. So we've gone over, gone over an hour. Um, uh, I was hoping to have more people in the in the live stream to drum up the, the train, the train talk. So hopefully <laughs> next week. Next week we can get these, get these train train nerds in here talking about trains. Um, huh? We we haven't picked a train to talk about for next week, so um, I don't know what. All right, chat. What do y'all want us to talk about next week? Let's see. Let's see how many times I can say next week and within two minutes. So, <laughs> what do you want us to talk about? Um, what are your questions? If you have questions during the week, let us let us know. Send us a message. Do you know uh, who's your who's your bricks is on Instagram? I, of course, I'm on Instagram. Johnny G says Ghost Train. Ooh, Ghost Train. I do have that one. That's that's one that I do not have. I never motorized it though. So. Okay, I'll pull, I'll pull that one out, Johnny, and I'll play around. Cause that that's actually one of my, well, that's probably my top top ten list. Oh, then we have the the Christmas train, a holiday train coming up. Maybe we'll save that one for December. Yeah, I need to do some work on mine. I tried to ex extend it; it didn't work out so well. Yeah. 
I know. Uh, collecting bricks says ghost train. Cargo. Char Charlie <laughs> says the cargo train. I, I'm going to say he's referring to the new ones since he still needs to build it. Well, he needs to build it, and then he needs to get in here and talk about it. Brick ben Brickbender Underworld says, do a video question and tag Haley or Hoosier. There you go. You can practice. Y'all can practice your videoing. But, um, but yeah, no, this has been an awesome, another awesome train episode. Um, I don't know. I was excited to run run this today. See how many, see how many cards they could pull. But, uh, uh, John, Johnny G says ballasting and how it murders your wallet. Oh, we can talk about that. We most, can talk about that all day long, Johnny. Most uh, most definitely. My all that track out there is ballast already. Yeah, all my my tracks ballasted as well. I uh, just have to do a switch track. That's the only new one I've been trying to figure out. No. I have I have a site for that, Haley. <laughs> I didn't finish the homework. Yeah, yeah. Excuses, Charlie. <laughs> uh, well, I don't know. You you want to switch gears and go give Charlie more time? Switch right. gears and go to track layouts and track ballasting and. Okay, we'll do that because I. That gives me time to get the switch track put together. Uh, maybe we can reach out to Somniac. I know Somniacs did some track ballasting. Oh, there we go. Yeah. All right, Charlie. You get one extra week to do your homework. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right. Well, I think that's going to be the end of... Fun, fun with trains or fun with Lego trains for this week. Um, thank you, everyone, for tuning in and listening us ramble about trains for an hour. Um, yeah, next week, next week, probably same time, same channel. I am tempted to start it right after Holland and Ballin. So, I don't know what what do y'all think about that? Mm, I mean. Play with it, see see how it goes. Because I know I know some people get off of work right at when we start, and they have twelve minutes exactly to come on, on the stream. <laughs> some of our train guys, but but yeah, okay. Well, y'all have a good weekend. Have a good week. We'll see you on the next Lego stream, which probably will be Bricksmith or Brick Five or Reed or Hoosier. You know, all all those people. So. Yeah, I would say Julian are not going to hold him to it, but chances are good between now and Wednesday that there'll be a pop-up stream from him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep, fun with flags. Oops, trains. Uh, thank you, Hoosier, for coming on and hanging out. No Thanks. problem. Thank you, everyone in the chat. Uh, I am Haley Bricks, and we will, and that's Hoosier Bricks, and we will talk to you guys later. Y'all have a good one.